Okay. May I start? Okay, okay. So, uh, my name is George Katsopoulos, and I, I would like to welcome you all in uh, one of uh, our kitchens, the hotel's kitchens. Uh, we are in Knossos Royal in uh, Creta. Uh, welcome again from the sunny Creta. Uh, I'm going to present you an easy recipe, but very, very tasty. Uh, it's going to be a pie, a zucchini pie with uh, a lot of uh, greens, a lot of uh, flavor inside. Spiro, uh, I'm going to show a little bit. I'm going to show show you now the ingredients let me show you the ingredients that i have here zucchini spring onion olive oil salt pepper uh, yogurt feta cheese flour eggs uh, a little bit of baking powder and for the tray before the oven, uh, we want to make a crust in the tray under the pie. So uh, for now, I use polenta. Uh, otherwise, you can use uh, corn flour or uh, semolina, which is uh, going to be which is going to be a very uh, nice crust under the the pie. I'm going to show you the next steps. Of course, I have my greens here, my fresh greens. I have the dill. I'm going to chop it all together now. I have a bunch of parsley and mint, fresh mint. I love this recipe because it's very easy to do it. Uh, I'm going to use uh, simple uh, tools like this grater. I'm going to grate the, the zucchini. And I'm going to tell you some tips about the, the pie. Uh, let's start from the zucchini. I'm going to use this tray because it's easy for you to, to see all the procedure. I'm going to clean the zucchini like this. All the ingredients I'm going to use. It's easy for you to find them in England, of course. don't need extra skills to cook this recipe, not even something simple, but it's a very traditional recipe we used to prepare and serve all around Greece, not only Creta. Uh, a name of it is uh, Bajina in Greek. So, I'm going to start to grate the zucchini. The most time we need is this procedure. All the other thing is just to 
mix all the ingredients together and put it in the tray for the oven. Just like this. You know that uh, in Greece we use a, a lot of uh, pies. Cheese pie, pie with greens, pie with meat. Which is a traditional habit all around Greece. We use phyllo outside the, the pita. But this is an easy recipe without phyllo. Only the zucchini with the whole ingredients inside. You can find easily Greek yogurt in uh, England. Also feta cheese, which is the most famous cheese around Greece. And uh, this is a recipe I'm going to do uh, in Symbosio next month in London for a special event. And I'm going to use this pie for a garniture in a pork fillet with a very tasty sauce of thyme. I'm going to bring with me Greek herbs and I'm going to use them for a special Greek event in London. If you have a machine, of course, it's better eh? and very easy to bring the zucchini. But I decided to make all the recipe traditionally for you to see that it's very, very easy and quick to prepare this recipe. We are okay with the zucchini and now I'm going to tell you a tip to avoid the liquid of the zucchini in our recipe, the water of the zucchini, we just have to put a little bit of salt around the zucchini now. And uh, if you have time uh, at home, you can uh, easily put it for uh, half an hour to, to be calm and uh, let the liquid part of uh, zucchini comes out with the salt. But now, because we don't have a lot of time, I'm going to press it with my hands. So I'm going to make the procedure more quick and fast. Don't be afraid with the salt because it's going to leave with the water. Γιατί θα μου σκουπίσει λίγο το τέτοιο. As you can see, there is a lot of water. That's why I put flour inside. And if you have a semolina or a polenta, you can use also 
can mix flour with polenta and semolina. It gives a, another texture in our pie. And instead of uh, feta cheese, you can uh, easily put inside the pie grafiera cheese, which is uh, another famous uh, Greek cheese, but yellow, with a perfect flavor for me. I love graviera, the same as I love feta. It's easy to put the zucchini for an hour in the strainer to put out the liquid part and do something else. With the same ingredients, I'm going to show you an extra recipe, another recipe, but with a different way of cooking. This pie, I'm going to put it in the oven, as I told you before. But uh, the second recipe, I'm going to use a fry pan with uh, extra virgin olive oil, and uh, I'm going to prepare for you zucchini balls. In Greek, kolokithokiaftedes. It's a big word, but I think I think let me check the chat. Uh, how do you spell that cheese? Uh, how are you doing? The cheese I'm going to use is this one is feta cheese. And uh, as you know, feta is uh, kind of salty. That's why we have to be careful with the uh, saltiness. A lot of messages, good afternoon, well, no, 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 super, long, looking forward to the cook along, thank you. Thank you so much, George. Thank you very much. Ελένη μου καλησπέρα. Χαίρομαι πολύ που είσαι μαζί μας. Δεν θα γευτείς τώρα την πίτα, αλλά σε λίγες μέρες. I'm going to show you the exactly the recipe after the zucchini pie. So now we have the zucchini here. I'm going to start to mix the ingredients together. Okay. So flour. Okay. Eggs. Mm -hmm. Three sweet spoons of baking powder, salt. Mm -hmm. 
not too much because of the feta cheese, pepper. Greek yogurt, as you can see in the recipe. It must be crunchy outside and soft inside. This is the point. Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to smash feta cheese with my hands. Magina is a very famous and old pita. Our mothers and the grandmothers used to cook this pita in the villages. And uh, it's very, very tasty and you can ser serve the pita uh, for breakfast for lunch and uh, in the afternoon with a little bit of uh, greek yogurt by side i'm going to show you exactly the way at the end of the recipe in the presentation i'm going to make a small setup uh, let me cut all the greens and put it in the tray. I'm going to cut the spring onion first to put it inside the pita. The small pieces. So, if you have a machine, you can use it. Same. Sorry about my Greek with Eleni, but I'm very happy when I work with Eleni. things abroad. Fresh mint. Or peppermint if you want. It depends on your flavor. You can put dry or fresh oregano inside, a lot of uh, herbs and greens. The smell is amazing, and uh, you are going to see it and smell it if you do it at home. I'm going to chop a little bit of parsley.
and for last the deal sorry how uh, the feta is in yes i smash it with the hands <laughs> But I, as I said before, you can use uh, graviera. Uh, it's like griller, a yellow cheese. But you easily can find the graviera, I think, all, all around England, for sure in London. If you want, I can give you also address. I know because uh, in London especially, are a lot of Greek restaurants, and they use really good and Greek ingredients for their customers. Now, all the preparation was this. I'm going to mix all the ingredients together. Yeah. Θα ρίξουμε λίγο λαδάκι ακόμα. Σωστό, σωστό. Λέτε με το φόλι πόλι. Οκ. Ευχαριστώ. Έχω με τον Σπύρο, που είναι ένας καλός κουκκ με το μέλλον. Yes, you think? <laughs> I am sure. Talif is Talif. This is the mixture of the pie. We almost finished. Now, I'm going to keep a portion to show you the kolokithokeftedes, which is with the same base, but different kind of cooking style. I'm going to present it after. So, Spiro, let's give you the aspro of the tapsaki. Let me change my gloves. The camera must be accessing. Sorry. Okay, uh, I'm going to use this tray for the oven. You can use a metallic, a porcelain, glass, Pyrex, anything you want. Now, the tip for a crunchy crust in the bottom of the tray is to put a little bit of olive oil all around the tray. Just like this. I'm going to use this tool to put all around oil also here. This procedure helps the pie to not stuck in the tray and uh, we can cut it and serve it easily in the plate and uh, now as I told you before you can use polenta, semolina and uh, corn flour. Like this I need the poleta or whatever you use to go all around the surface of the tray.
Now, I'm going to clean the tray. And fill the tray with the pie. If you don't like something uh, of uh, the ingredients I show you in the mixture, you can put something else or not. The hotel is full and my colleagues is outside the window and see, look, this is the pie. I'm going to put it in the oven for uh, 35, 40 minutes uh, in 180 degrees. But uh, from the 30 minutes and after, start uh, to, to check it because the, every oven is uh, in a different way. Now. I'm going to show you the zucchini balls, but let me prepare the pan with the olive oil. Inside the pan, we need almost a centimeter of uh, olive oil. And temperature for the beginning and then with the two spoons with two spoons we take the mixture of the zucchini and put it in the olive oil it's very very easy procedure but uh, with another way, we give the with the same ingredients two different kinds of uh, things. Two minutes for the temperature and. If I have enough time, let me check the chat. Yes, the feta is inside, as I told you. <laughs> it is great already. And uh, when you smell all the ingredients together you will understand what I'm saying for the mixture with the, the greens the dill the parsley and the mint with the spring onion it's an amazing combination and it's very uh, easy to uh, i give it all the time to my children for a snack also when uh, they going to school in the morning cold even cold they can have it as a snack for the school it's very tasty and the next day because the ingredients are uh, mixing together it's more than 
my olive oil. It's ready. And I prefer to put it in the pan flat. I'm going to show you exactly the portion and how. Let me feel uh, the general frying. Frying, just a little. Eh, a little. Eh? Look. Not deep fry. Now I'm going to turn it upside down. All it needs is brown gold color outside. It's like the pie. Crust outside and soft inside. We need only a few minutes. If the mixture is uh, too dry, uh, you can use a lot of olive oil, more olive oil. If it's uh, more liquid, you can put uh, flour to make it steady for the pan. For the pie, we are okay, just like this. Look the color. Now we are ready. In a few minutes. Here it is. 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 Uh, if you have a pan and you want to finish the pie, as I show you, uh, in a pan, you can uh, put it in the fire, just like this, with a little bit of olive oil, and put the pan, if it's uh, uh, stainless steel, and uh, not plastic, of course, put it in the oven with the pan. I'm telling this because I'm going to show you an already baked pie because we don't have enough time.
prepare ready five Okay. 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 Now I'm going to make a presentation, but let me show you the result, which is this after the, the baking hour. Our pie it's going to be like this brown color do not be afraid about the the blackness of the of the of the crust it's uh, normal uh, as you can see i'm going to cut it and make a presentation now for you when you put in the bottom of the tray the olive oil and the uh, branch part it's gonna be like this easily Look how it is. Soft, crunchy outside with all the ingredients. And look at the crust. Okay. Now. Press oregano for the presentation. Also, I'm going to put the the chicken balls. Something like this. So it's easy for you to see the result. The ferrocoda. I'm going to cut this. Look how it is soft inside and crunchy outside. You have to try it at home because this is it. I'm going to serve it with a little bit of yogurt. Just like this. And like this. And of course, Enjoy it. Perfect. Very tasty. That's good. Thank you. What is that? Yes. Yes, of course. Let me read the questions. And answer. Ah, okay, okay. If someone has an extra question for me, I'm glad to answer it. Of course. Uh, if we can put uh, meat inside, yes, of course. We can use uh, chicken. We can use... Uh, uh, some uh, chopped steak that uh, we had from the uh, from yesterday and put it inside so no food waste as I know that there is uh, oven yet I think no 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 
you have to be careful with the oven and check it because every oven is different. Uh, the prof in a professional oven, uh, after uh, 25, 30 minutes, I start to check the, the pipe in the oven. Uh, it's going to be one and a half centimeter or two max. Yes, yes, it's very, very tasty. You are going to love it. Believe me. Thank you for sharing this amazing recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, white wine, it fits perfect. But uh, if you can use it uh, as a meze, as a starter, meze in Greek, uh, it's like uh, tapas. Small uh, mezedes in the middle of the table, as we used to, to eat uh, uh, in the Sunday. Sunday for a lunch with all the family, uh, a lot of mezedes in the middle, and you can, cut, you can cut it in small pieces with a little bit of yogurt. Uh, ah, in the inside the yogurt, you can put uh, also greens, olive oil, salt and pepper, and make a sauce. Something uh, which is very easy and uh, fits a lot, uh, very much with uh, the pie. I should thank you for watching me doing this recipe. Uh, it was an honor for me. Thank you very much all. Thank you very much all. Thank you, Barley.